Well guys, welcome back to the desert. We finished up Christmas in San Diego a couple days ago and immediately the day after Christmas drove out to the Death Valley area. We're camping at the Long Street Inn and Casino right over the border in Nevada. And this has been our view in the background for the last couple days. But today, we're actually finally getting a chance to go into Death Valley. It has been extremely windy the last couple days. We've had winds, uh, sustained winds about 25 miles an hour with gusts getting over 30 miles an hour. So the winds are down today. They're only about six or seven miles an hour, but it's gonna be interesting going into Death Valley because right now, um, you guys are probably watching this way later, but the government shutdown is happening right now, which means most of the national parks across the country don't have any rangers on duty. So the main visitor center is closed down, lots of the bathrooms, some of the roads have been shut down as well. So we're gonna see what we can actually go in and see and have a good time and explore, but it might be a little bit different than it's been before. Our first stop is Zabrinsky Point and it's the Badlands area which is similar to the Badlands where we were in South Dakota. Um, it's, it's a Saturday, it's still over the holiday season so it's actually kind of crowded here. So government shutdown is not stopping people from coming in and seeing the park. Unlike the other national parks that we've been to, there's no like main gate entrance when you get to the park where they collect the fees and give you the maps and everything like that. So at this first stop here, they actually have a little kiosk uh, that you pay by credit card in order to pay for your admission fees. Uh, but it's sh shut down, it's taped up, uh, has a little sign on it talking about the government shutdown and the park closure, things like that. Uh, but so far, things look to be in order. People are acting kindly. No one's misusing the park. There's no drones flying. Uh, people are picking up their trash after themselves. So even though we're about six to seven days into the government shutdown, Death Valley National Park seems to be up and running just fine, even without the park rangers. We knew that the visitor center wasn't gonna be open because of the government shutdown but we stopped by anyways just to see if they would have some maps and junior ranger books and for the girls. Do. They just have a stack outside of maps and the seasonal brochure. But no junior ranger books. No junior ranger books, but we should be able to download those online, fill them out and mail them back in, hopefully. And we'll have to figure that out. Um, well, this is the first park that we'll visit and our girls won't get a badge. They will, they will. They'll just have to wait for it. In Death Valley, the Devil's Golf Course is amazing. It's it's like miles of flatness, but it's not only flat, it's like bumpy, rocky salt. And I got this little piece here. It's actually a salt formation from the bottom of the sea. So this used to be underwater and it used to be an ocean. And they keep changing based off of the flooding and the waters that come through here and the salt formations grow and shrink 
every single year. It's yeah. very amazing. We just found this hilarious thing. There's two holes that look like somebody came through with high heels. Why would anyone come here in high heels? I don't think they would, but <laughs> that would be holes. pretty funny. Since you are allowed to hike out on these salt formations, uh, they actually get a lot better as you get further away from the parking lot since it's kind of a hard hike uh, navigating the different crevices between the formations. And since nobody gets further out, the formations out here are a lot more delicate uh, and a lot more intricate since they haven't been trampled by people's hiking as you get further out. It's just pretty much amazing. Like you would never imagine something like this forming on its own in nature, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Butter sandwich. Butter sandwich. You want a salami and cheese sandwich? Eat it. We've arrived at the main attraction here at Death Valley National Park. The Badwater Basin. Badwater Basin. Which is the lowest point in the Western Hemisphere at 282 feet below sea level. Yeah. Right at the parking area, right on the other side, there's the hill behind it, and halfway up the hill is a sign that says sea level. Yeah. And we're way below that. It's really cool to put it in perspective that we're so far below sea level. Out of the national parks that we've been to so far, this one is just the most wide open and spacious. It is the largest national park outside of Alaska, um, but it's just for miles and miles you can see there's not a lot of vegetation, so nothing's blocking the way, you're not twisting through mountains. Um, it just makes you feel so tiny. We said earlier that people were being good in the park without having the rangers around, but in this area, not so much. We've seen dogs on the path, bikers on the path, and now we've got somebody flying their drone overhead. I told the girls that they're junior rangers and they could lay down the law, but they don't, they don't want to confront anyone. This kind of salt is table salt. Um, you can find big pieces of salt here and it's really cool because um, they can break. It's not really breaking. Um, and they're in really cool shapes and me and Lana love to play with them. Bridge. And it is nuts. Whoa, I'm falling over. Can uh, we just walk? We're tightening up. 
you go back down. The Natural Arch Bridge was actually one of the only attractions in here that we thought was going to be closed off. We did some research and went to the National Park's website and this trail was marked as closed but it's obviously open, the parking lot's full. And this here's the arch. It's just a huge, huge rock made out of rock. It's a rock made out of rocks? Yeah. A big rock made out of rocks. We, we, that hill over there. we didn't see you at the bridge. Where did you go? We were on, sitting on a rock and then we went over here and the sun shot. Are you too tired to go all the way up? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's been a long day. I think we're almost done though. What do we got left? We need to do the artist, something about the artist drive. The artist drive? Yeah, we'll do that loop and then head home.